Hey you guys, welcome to the video. I am so excited to be bringing you one of my first two-in-one makeup tutorials and this one is ultra music festival inspired. I am going this year, it's my second time. I love this festival, honestly it's so much fun. Can't wait to be in Miami and have that good weather. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are coming. I hope to see all of you there. But getting back to the makeup, what I wanted to do today is create two different looks for you to represent the two different sides of Ultra. So on this side, we have our Resistance Girl. This is your like underground techno dark vibes. And then on this side, we have our Ultra Knot or our Ultra Babe. Think more futuristic, sci-fi, space babe. This this is more bright, colorful, vibrant. So it's sort of like my two different personalities in one <laughs> is what this vibe is because I'm both. I like to spend time at main stage and at the resistance stage. So I thought this would be a really fun combination depending on your personality. I'm very curious at the end of the tutorial which one you guys prefer, but give this video a thumbs up if you do like it in the end. And I would also love it if you guys would subscribe if you are new here, come hang out, watch some more videos. I have tons of festival makeup if you're interested in watching anything else as well. And I think that's all I've got for you guys. Everything I'm wearing today will be listed down below in the description box. So all all of the links to all of the face gems, makeup, whatever. So if you guys want to find out any more information, go check out the description box. And I think that's what I have. You can kind of get a little sneak peek here at our resistance techno thought. <laughs> and then our pretty soft, almost like euphoria inspired um, ultra knot babe. Grab a snack, grab a drink, come hang out with me and let's play with some makeup. Okay guys, so I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see better what I'm doing since we're starting with my eyes. Okay. So I'm gonna do the resistance look on this side. I'm starting with that because that makes me the most nervous because it's gonna be a lot of like graphic lines and eyeliner. So I'll show you guys some of my inspo. I really wanted something like cool and sort of like graphic. That was one idea. Do a Lipa's look here. It's super simple. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna do some eyeliner and then I have these really awesome face gems. These are from Lunatics. So I think I want to play with these too, because this gives me like a little bit of euphoria vibes. That's also a little bit of an inspiration for both of today's looks. So let's just go for it. Again, I'm starting with my eyes because if there's any issues I have, if I need to clean anything up, if glitter falls, I can just wipe it away with a makeup wipe. So to get started, I'm going to use the LA Girl Gel Eyeliner. Looks like this. I also have a little pen, but I'm gonna try this first because I feel like this really, really works. And then I just have a Sephora, I think, angled liner brush. So we're gonna go for it. Wing liner is really difficult, <laughs> but I'm gonna try and make this as easy as possible for you guys. So I'm gonna dip a little bit. I kind of coat the end of my brush. And then one thing, pro tip, I cover it back up immediately because things like this dry out very quickly. So I'm just gonna start in the outer corner and I'm just gonna start sort of by like stamping this into my lashes and my lash line this is gonna be a thicker line so it's okay if it's a little messy but i just want that like base of the line down and we're gonna make her come all the way into the inner corner i want this to look like very grungy okay now in the outer corner i'm sort of gonna line it up and flick it out here a little bit so you could also some people do this some people like use a sharp edge and then go like that so that they can draw their line but we're gonna try and wing it so lightly because I'm kind of just like mapping out where it's gonna go and then I'm gonna go in with like the actual pressure and put the pigment and now we're gonna connect the line here and I'm gonna flip this over and sort of drag that back over the lid and connect it and then I'm gonna clean up the outer corner here Again, it doesn't matter. I'm like kind of fucking up on the bottom because I'm gonna clean that right up. Okay, and then in the inner corner, I kind of want like a point. So I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit into the inner corner here. Now underneath here, because this is a little thicker than I want it to be, you could either take concealer and clean it up with a brush or I'm gonna just use a makeup wipe to just really get that line nice and straight. And I just sort of wanna like thin it out a tiny bit. Perfect. See how nice and sharp that is? Ooh, she snatched. 
She's a techno queen. <laughs> okay, so this is the hard part. So in the picture I had, there was also a line that's like up here. It's very much over the crease of your eye because if you're looking straight on, you don't want it to smudge and be tucked too much into the crease. So I'm gonna come like a little bit under my brow bone and I might use the pen. I don't know. No, maybe I'm, I'll just stick to the gel. I'm gonna go very light again and just try and draw out. So I, I drew it very lightly, it kinda looks like crap right now, but we're gonna go in now and make it darker. I think it kinda looks cool and edgy. Okay, I'm definitely gonna put lashes on. I have my Sasha lashes from Huda Beauty, but I'm gonna do lashes at the very end because I don't like to put powder all over my face later and sometimes it gets caught in false lashes, so that's like my last step. But it's time for face gems, I'm really excited. So we're gonna open this up. And Lunatics is like absolutely one of my favorite face gem and glitter companies. So I'm gonna have links below if you guys wanna pick anything up. I am a brand ambassador. I do love working with them. So big fan. I gotta see where I want. I might put this right above the black line there. Ooh, that's so fun. Okay, I'm gonna go do my other eye and then we'll come back to this one later. But so far, so good. Oh, I forgot to mention one step. I'm gonna um, line my top waterline with the black perversion urban decay eyeliner and this is just to fill in those spaces between my lashes and then later when I have the lash band on the whole thing will look more cohesive cool much better okay next eye okay so as I mentioned earlier this side is the ultra girl this side is more futuristic think more colorful think bright think kind of like space babe futuristic babe so definitely a very different vibe than our resistance girl so I have two palettes pulled out here I have my James Charles and Morphe palette and then I have my Riviera palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and again I am kind of a little euphoria inspired so I do want to use a lot of like pinks and purples and I want to make something that's still not that hard for you guys to recreate so I'm kind of just gonna do like a blown out gradient smoky eye with pinks and purples and I have some Lunatics glitters and these are all like different shades of pinks and raspberry tones so this side is definitely gonna be more playful more fun they have this adorable little like loose uh, gems and like all different shapes and stuff so we can just have fun like randomly placing these around the eye so let's get started okay First up, I always put concealer down or an eye primer. Uh, it totally depends on what you like to use, but we just want a blank canvas. Okay, I just washed all my brushes last night. I feel so productive. <laughs> all right, this is the vibe I'm feeling. She's just got like a really pretty iridescent pinkish purple look with all these little different gems, a lot of highlighter and a super glossy lip. This is what we want. <laughs> Okay, so to get started, then, all right, I'm gonna go in with the Riviera, Riviera palette. And I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe brush, a crease brush, and I'm gonna go in with this little peach color estate just to throw that in the crease. This kind of like matches my skin tone, so you won't notice too much, but it's got a little bit of color. And I'm gonna do one more dip into that and just build it up bringing that almost up into my brow bone. That's just gonna make it easier for like all the colors to transition later. Then I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. I'm gonna take Coastline here. It's another like, it's like a deeper peach kind of color. And I'm gonna take a smaller crease brush. This is the Morphe M513. And I'm concentrating this more in the outer corner. I'm buffing that in and then bringing it lower into my crease. This is just like a little bit darker than the color we laid down earlier. So this is where you guys tell me what your ultra plans are. Is anyone else going? Who are you excited to see? I feel like I'm a little bit of like both of these. Like I'm definitely gonna be at the resistance stage. I'm really into techno, um, but they just announced like all the people playing main stage and there's just so many artists, so many of my favorite people, so many good back-to-back -back sets. It's gonna be amazing. Now I wanna build up the outer corner, so I'm gonna go in with Monte Carlo. It's like a darker, a darker pink kind of color. It's really pretty actually. I'm gonna use a much smaller packed crease brush, the Morphe E17. This is one of my favorite brushes of all time. So I'm really concentrating that on the brush here. And I'm gonna pack this into the outer corner so we get as much of that payoff as possible. And I'm just gonna build that up. And I'm sort of bringing that across my lid about halfway. Such a pretty color. And then I'm gonna blend that into the crease and keep it nice and low. 
And I'm gonna go back into my last brush. I didn't add anything to it, but I'm just gonna buff out the um, edges. This look looks very like smooth and blended, so that's what we're going for. Add a tiny bit more here onto the lid. God, my lips are so chapped right now. <laughs> Okay, and now we're gonna go with the purple. This is the cans color. Okay, we want a packing brush for this So I'm gonna use a little tiny packing brush. This one's also great the Morphe E18 From what I remember this one didn't blend that well purples are a little tricky Tap off excess. I'm just gonna stamp this right in the outer corner and Along the lash line to deepen this up a bit. Ooh, that is pretty Something about pinks and purples, man. We're screaming springtime here. Yeah, see, this is the issue I had last time. This color kind of like, when you start to blend it, it blends away to nothing. So you really just need to like pack it on. And I'm gonna come up into the crease a tiny bit. I'm gonna go back in with my last brush and just tap over all of that to blend it. Really focusing this like on my lash line. I'm sort of pushing it into my lashes in the outer corner. Okay. So then for the lid color, I do want to go in with Palermo. Really pretty pink. All right, so what are we gonna use? I'm gonna use my little eyeshadow packer brush. This is a Sephora Precision Shadow Brush and I'm gonna wet it with MAC Fix Plus just so that this color like really pops. And I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. Hmm, there we go. I was like, that's a little underwhelming. Uh. There's something about this palette. I really liked it when I first got it, but um, it's not my favorite Anastasia palette. Some of the colors give me some issues, but there we go, now it's building up. Really pretty shimmery pink. And I'm just sort of like pressing and packing this onto the lid and the inner corner. Ooh, that's a vibe. Okay, then I'm gonna go back in with my little packer brush and go out over the outer corner with the purple again. So we're blending that in. I just want like the outer corner of my eye to be nice and dark. Give it a little smoky effect, smoky vibe. Okay, and I'm gonna go back with my packer brush and I'm gonna add more of that Monte Carlo shade and just go over the edges to blend that. And I'm gonna bring that up a bit. And then I'm going back in with Coastline, the little peach shade. Okay, for the brow bone, I'm gonna dip into my highlighter for my face. It's the Flower Beauty strobing palette and this um, highlighter in the middle is like a little bit of a pinkish sort of shift to it so that's gonna be the brow bone highlight again I want to think like ultra kind of like futuristic space babe and I would picture very holographic very glittery yeah this highlighting palette is like no joke I'm gonna take my black eyeliner and I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner on the top lash line and just sort of like Shake it in between my lashes to line them a little because we are putting false lashes on this side as well I also found this random palette. I've like never used it's a Catrice galaxy in a box a Holographic glow palette, which is super interesting and it's got these different highlighter shades and they all have different shifts when you swatch them This is like a peach shift. So I might use the blue and the pink Okay, one thing I wanna do to this look that I think might help a little bit, I got this Too Faced highlighter in Canary Diamond in my BoxyCharm. It's a highlighter, just like an individual one, and it's kind of crazy, the coloring of it. Like, I would never wear this as a straight up highlighter on my face. It's got like a pinkish shift to it, so I kinda of wanna put that right on top of my eye. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so if you guys have like any glitter at home, feel free to like add that on top. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit in the inner corner too. Yeah, that made it really pop. Okay, we look crazy. I have fallout all over my face. So I'm gonna wipe that up. This is why we do our eyeshadow first. And we just have like a super sparkly, smoked out, little pink and purple eyeshadow look. Okay, so now I wanna use these individual little gems from Lunatics. I'm gonna place a few like I think in my crease and stuff, and then I'm gonna finish my face makeup and come back and probably add some glitter and stuff under my eye, but I can't do that just yet. Look how cute this little pack of diamonds is. Okay, we're gonna stay there. I'm gonna do my face sped up. Everything will be listed down below, and I will also like pop up instructions so you guys know what I'm using, but we're gonna rock this out and then finish off the eyes in the end.
All right, you guys, so I'm gonna pause the speed through because the face is pretty much done. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm lining my resistance eye uh, with some black liner because we really are going for like a dark vibe. Um, and I'm just connecting the inner corner with my, do you hear these birds outside? With my waterline. <laughs> and a little under my lash line. This wasn't the original plan, but I'm kind of gonna go with it. I'm gonna smoke out that lower lash line. I'm just using my soft glam palette. Literally use whatever browns, blacks you have. Like, don't you don't have to have these palettes that I have. But I'm gonna take a very tiny little definer brush. This is one of my favorite tools ever. This is the Morphe M213, it's amazing. And I'm gonna dip into the black here. It is like, the blackest of blacks that I own. So literally a dab will do ya and then tap the rest off. I'm gonna press this into my lower lash line and over the inner corner here so that everything just stays in place. And then I'm gonna just like drag that along the lower lash line. Kind of like pressing it in between my lashes too because I wanna just like smoke everything out and fill in like any gaps. And I'm gonna connect that with my line so everything's blended together. Perfect. Woo! She snatched. Okay, it'll look much better with lashes on. <laughs> so speaking of lashes, I'm gonna put my lash glue on these now so they have a chance to dry here. Where's my glue? Okay, and I'm gonna finish off this eye too. So I'm gonna just basically work backwards in the order that I had. So I'm gonna take the deep purple color on another tiny little smudger brush and I'm gonna pack that right under the lash line here. Stamp that on and just sort of connect it with the outer corner on the top there. This eye is like so pretty and soft, I love it. I'm gonna take a small little smudger brush. I'm gonna dip into Monte Carlo, the deeper pink shade and I'm just gonna go to town and buff that all on the lower lash line. Really blend it together in the outer corner so it all ties together. I'm gonna grab the brush from earlier that had our coral shade on it, Coastline, and I'm gonna dip into that and Monte Carlo, a little bit of both, and I'm really gonna take this like down under my eye and mainly out here in like the outer corner and like drag that down and smoke it in. It's festival makeup, guys. Have fun with it, go crazy. Yeah, that's like the effect I want. Really pretty. All right, you guys, so we're almost done. I just went and popped on my lashes because my battery died. <laughs> and then I just put some mascara on my lower lash line, but this is how we're looking. So this is our softer ultra eye, and then this is our resistance babe. Very different vibe. I feel like this pulls together with the lashes. Like When you have some dramatic graphic liner like this, you need lower lash line mascara, you need some major lashes. So loving this, we are, Finished with the resistance eye, she's good. Uh, I just wanna finish off the ultra eye. So again, I wanted to add a little bit of glitter and a little bit of sparkle, and I'm gonna add a couple more gems as well. So let me grab those. So I think I'm just gonna place a few more of these gems like under and around my eyes just to finish this look off, cause this is so freaking cute. Oh, and I gotta finish my face too. So I'm just gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to just lock everything in place. It's a festival, guys. Use setting spray. It'll keep everything right where you want it to be. This smells heavenly, too, and this one actually really uh, melts your makeup together. I like how it sort of just like makes all the powder and everything just settle nicely. So that's all done. Oh, and lips. Let me do lips. I'm gonna keep it nude because it will go with both of these looks, so. What do I have here? I'm gonna line my lips with the LA Girl Bare Lip Liner. That's like a nice nude brown. And then I just bought this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I splurged a little bit. This is in Penelope Pink. It's a really nice nude. So good. Okay, and then I'm gonna finish it off with a gloss. I have a NARS gloss in, oh my God, Chelsea Girls. We love it. That girl's lips were juicy in that picture, so I think that goes with like both of the eyes. All right, let's finish this off. Right under the eye, and they have all different sizes in this pack too, which I love. <sighs> now I need to go watch Euphoria. I've never watched it before. Oh, this is such a vibe. You guys will have to let me know in the comments too. Are you an ultra girl or are you a resistance girl? Which side are you feeling? Okay, one more in the inner corner and then we're good to go there. 
Okay, literal perfection. Ooh, I love it so much. These are so fun. Oh, do I even want glitter? I might just leave it to that. I might just put a tiny bit like as highlighter. I feel like the eye itself kind of stands out. So my favorite way of applying loose glitters is tat wax. I use this on any of my tattoos. It just makes them, it makes the ink stand out a little bit more. So you can see I have all glitter in here. Okay, you don't need a lot. You don't wanna rub because if you use Aquaphor or whatever to put glitter down and you rub, it'll lift your makeup. So I just apply a little bit. It's very tacky. It feels like Vaseline almost. And I just pat it where I want the glitter to go. Honestly, kind of a nice highlight. <laughs> it just makes your skin look like wet. Okay, and then I have a little towel down so the glitter falls onto the towel. And this is in the shade Cotton Candy. Again, this is from Lunatics. I'm just gonna go around the eye as if this is like my highlighter and a little onto the brow, cause why not? All right, that's it. We're just gonna go for some subtle glitter. <laughs> And you guys, uh, Lunox is coming out with biodegradable, eco-friendly glitter, so stay tuned for that. Oh, and I wanted to mention, I was gonna put this on, but I think it's too much with both looks, but Lunox also just came out with their manifestation collection. This is so major. I'm actually wearing this to Ultra, so I didn't wanna ruin it today, but I'm gonna leave a link down below. They also came out with colored glitter strands, like clip-in extensions. So I'm probably gonna wear one or both of these to Ultra as well. So I'm really excited about that. I feel like the silver is your like resistance babe and maybe the blue will be our Ultra babe. Okay, I think that is the completed look here, you guys. So I'm gonna let you see everything up close and then we'll just close this video out, okay? Ultra resistance. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comments below. Let me know which one is your favorite look and which one would you consider yourself? Are you more of like our darker techno kind of vibe, underground feeling, or are you more of our like futuristic pastels kind of space ultra not babe? Let me know. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. I would also love it if you guys would subscribe if you are not subscribed already and hit the little post notifications bell so you guys are notified every single time that I post. Again, everything on my face today will be listed down below in the description box if you wanna pick anything up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This was really fun. Let me know if you like the two looks in one tutorial because I had a lot of fun doing this and I think it just shows you more of a range of things that you can play around with. And I think that's all I've got for you guys. I hope I see you at Ultra and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.